Get ready for the dictation. Dictation will start in 5 seconds. Start. I rise to give my humble support to the honorable minister's will to give effect to the financial proposals of the central government for the financial year 1987-88 as passed by the Lok Sabha, it strains the common man's purse to the utmost limits and leaves him hardly any margin. But generally speaking, as a pupil, we have agreed to suffer and sacrifice for the sake of the nation's future. Its future, we all know, depends upon the success of the seventh five-year plan and recognizing this, we would ask that the government does not extend any quarter to any question of pruning the plan or lowering our targets in any direction. Whatever is necessary should be done to curtail our imports to the minimum to increase our exports to the maximum. But an end to corruption and curb all anti-social elements. If the pupil are asked to pay, they have certainly the right to ask of the government that they should see that every PESA they are going to pay is utilized carefully, creatively and productively. One cannot, it is obvious, respond to all questions that the finance bill raises in one's mind. I would therefore be content to refer to a few points in respect of two ministries alone. The Ministry of Human Resource Development and the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. I do not see any of the representatives of these two ministries on the treasury benches, but I hope my comments and suggestions will be passed on to them. First, I would take the Ministry of Human Resource Development. I know I would be told at the very outset that education is a transferred subject and the main responsibility lies with the states. But at the same time, is it not true that the center issues directives from time to time and these directives to a long way in determining the policy and programs of the states in respect of education, how does it work? In recent years, it has been a very kind and generous practice of the central government through the University Grants Commission and also directly to offer matching grants to the states and the states fall in line with the policy and programs of the central government. In respect of the reports of the commissions, the state governments have to fall in line full stop.